Hi friends, Siddharth here from technobus.net. Today in this guide, I will show you how to install the latest official version of CM 14.1 on OnePlus 3. So let's get started. As you guys know that the CM 14.1 is based on the latest Android 7.1 Nougat ROM and now it's official available for the OnePlus 3 Android smartphone. To flash this custom ROM, all you need is a rooted phone with TWRP custom recovery. If you don't know how to root your device or install the custom recovery on your phone, there is a link in the video description. From there, you can install the latest TWRP recovery on your phone. To flash the custom room, all you need two zip files. First one is the CM14.1 official zip file and second one is the gapps zip file to flash all the latest Google applications on your custom room. So both the download links are in the video description. From there, you can download the latest CM14.1 official room and the latest Google applications for the CM14.1 Android 7.1 rooms. I already downloaded those files. So let me show you. So here are these files, CM14.1 and the last one is the OpenGApps ARM64. Yeah, you have to download the ARM64 version 7.1. Otherwise, the GApps file will not work on your phone. So once both files are saved, reboot your phone on TWRP recovery to do this. First, switch off your phone. It takes around 5 to 10 seconds to turn it off. So just wait. Once your phone is switched off, wait for 5 to 10 seconds and hold the volume down button. Here is it and the power button together. Now, from here, you can select the recovery from the volume rocker and tap on the power button to boot in the recovery mode. Just tap it. And within a few seconds, you will see the TWRP main recovery screen on your phone. So here is it, Team Win TWRP recovery. So once you are on the home menu of the TWRP recovery, to install the custom room, I always recommend you guys to take the backup of a previous previous room. Suppose something goes wrong between flashing or you don't like the custom room, then you can easily restore your previous OS. So to that, go to the backup and select all these files and swipe to back it. I already done that, so we are not going to take the backup again. And to restore these files, go to the restore, select the backup file and swipe to restore. So to flash the custom room, first go to the wipe, advanced wipe, select the Dolby cache, cache, data and system. Make sure don't select the internal storage, otherwise you will remove all the files that you saved on your phone like CM14.1 and the open GApps file. Select all these four folders and swipe to wipe it just is take some 5 15 to 20 seconds to wipe all the data so you can see that the wipe is complete then go back go back to the install and locate the cm14.1 zip file that you saved on your phone here is it second last one select it and swipe to confirm flash it will take around 20 to 30 seconds to flash the custom room on your phone so just wait let me show you so you can see that the progress bar is running so that means your the flashing process is start on your phone here you can see the two errors in the red color e unknown command log and second one the e unknown command log just ignore them and now the flash is complete you can see the done up written on the end of the script now go back and select the open gapps zip file you have to flash this file otherwise you will not use any google applications on this custom rooms like google play store youtube gmail or google set just tap on it and swipe to confirm flash so you can see that open gapps it will take some time around 30 to 35 seconds to install all the latest google applications on your phone it is recommended to install all the Google applications in any custom room. If you only flash the custom room and not flash the OpenGFs file, then you will not run any Google applications on that custom room. Just wait for a second.
you can see that installing call sync installing dial framework installing google copying log to sd card that's it so install the process is done then you can see the two options here wipe cache in dalvik and reboot system first tap on the wipe cache in dalvik swipe to wipe and now reboot system the first boot will take some time near about 5 to 10 minutes so just wait and be patient it will take some time to make some changes on your phone so just be just flashing now sorry it's booting now you can see the cm 14.1 boot screen logo that's so that means the custom room is successfully installed in phone so just wait i will show you how it works now you can see the cm 14.1 custom room is successfully booted on oneplus 3 and is working fine so let me show you some of its features so here is the toggle bar you can edit them easily settings you can see both the sims are working fine let me show you sim cards the sim slot 1 sim slot 2 both are working fine and it's volt support let me show you you can see the hd screen hd logo here that means it's volt support voice over lte show me the some settings lt mode buffer type all of these things so these both the sims are working fine display notifications sound apps battery you can change the buttons if you need the home screen buttons here is the navigation bar buttons you can change the button layouts also spacer everything is here let me show you the version android 7.1 you can see that model number one plus eight three zero zero three that is one plus three android version 7.1 Official CM 14.1 experimental build 1 for 1 plus 3. So let me show you the camera. The camera is working also working fine as you can see that. Now it also supports a 4K recording. You can change it if you want to record in the 1080 then you can change it from here. And the front camera is also HD supported when cam spec camera 16 point megapixel you can all make some changes from here so that means the room is working fine so so this is the best way to install the latest cm 14.1 android 7.1 custom room on oneplus 3 so guys hope you like this video so please subscribe our channel like comment and share take care bye bye